One of the challenges that you may come across when developing a website inside WordPress is adding lots of brand new pages. Now this process may become rather laborious if you need to just simply click on add new and then input the page title and then SEO information and attach the featured image and so on and so on and so forth. And that may seem okay, but it can get rather laborious if you've got lots of different pages that need to be added. As such, it may be better to utilize a CSV or XML import plugin so you can add lots of data from an Excel sheet to your particular pages. Now this is the process that I tend to follow because I get rather irritated by clicking the add new and then simply copying and pasting in the page title and other data that needs to be added to pages. So I'd suggest the use of the WP All Import plugin, which in my opinion tends to do a lot of things that you need it to do. I've purchased the premium version of this, which gives me plenty of options. And it's fairly useful for adding WooCommerce products as well, real estate, lettings, and of course, utilizing the advanced custom fields plugin in combination with this WP All Import plugin. So I really like it, it gives you lots of options. And of course, you can go to their site and check out exactly what it will do. It really is very flexible. And I can think of all sorts of reasons why you might want to use it. So you can utilize a CSV file, which of course can be created from an Excel file. And I tend to plan and get ready all of the information using an Excel sheet for all of the sites that are developed and then create a CSV file which can be imported to the website that's being created. So what's the process that you need to follow and how can you actually utilize the WP All Import plugin to make things a bit easier? So the way I tend to do it is to have two sites open which are the main development site on a local server so i'm using desktop server and then i also have another site open which i've called in this instance example.dev and i'm going to upload the featured images to the example.dev website and then i'm going to use those images and import them to the other website which is the main development site called localsite.dev now the reason i'm doing this is i've found because of my particular process that i find it better to add the images on a different site and then grab those images and then pull them into the new pages where I need them, which is this site here called localsite.dev. You may, as part of this WP All Import process, do it slightly differently, that's your choice, but I've just figured that's a better way for me to do it. So I have ready on the desktop the import CSV file, which I'll open now to show you exactly what it looks like. And you can see in here, I've got the service excerpt featured image, focus keyword, meta title, and meta description ready. And I've got 15 pages, which I'm going to upload to the site. Everything's all sorted in the CSV file. And essentially the service column is gonna be associated with the page title and everything else is fairly self-explanatory. And I've also got the featured images ready on the desktop here. So let's open up that folder. And you'll see that we've got 15 images, which are going to be attributed to the brand new pages that we're going to import. All of these images have the correct name, which is within the CSV file. So the featured image URL that you've got in this file here is accurate versus the specific names that we've got in this folder. You obviously need to make sure that that's accurate before you follow through with the import process. So at this stage, we're going to import these images to the example.dev website, which is not this specific development site I'm using. It's an alternative one, which I'm going to use to pull those images from that site into the actual development one, because that's the process I like using. So here's the development site, localsite.dev, but we're not gonna upload the featured images to that site. We're gonna upload them to this one here called example.dev. And we'll click on media and then add new. And of course, at this stage, you can restore down that window. And then on the right-hand side, you might wish to use view and then as a list, and then grab all of those images and then obviously upload them to the WordPress Media Library. Obviously that will take potentially a minute or so for some of those images to upload, and then you're ready to utilize those images for the import process in WP All Import. I tend to find that importing in bulk is easier using Firefox. You may disagree using a different browser, but I think it's really quite fast using Firefox currently, so that's the browser that I'm using. At this point we can make the window bigger once more, and then we can go to the local site.dev, which is the website where we want to add all of those brand new pages. And we've got WP All Import installed already. And on the left hand side, you'll see it there, All Import. And you can simply click on New Import. 
Now in this screen, you need to first of all click on upload a file. And then on the desktop, you'll see the CSV file there called import. So we can double click on that. And then that file will be uploaded to WP All Import. Scroll down and then you can choose to create posts. You may wish to choose pages or indeed in this particular site, I've got a custom post type called custom pages. But we're going to select pages in this example. Once you've done that, you can click on continue to step two. And here you'll see all of the nodes and data on the left hand side, which is within the CSV. So if you remember, we've got service, excerpt, featured image, focus keyword, meta title and meta description. Once you've checked that that is all OK, you can scroll up and then click on continue to step three. Now here you'll notice on the right hand side the XML tree with service excerpt, featured image and also the focus keyword meta title and meta description on the right. And you need to drag these nodes into the appropriate location on the left hand side for the WordPress page. So we know that service needs to go in the title for the page and then if we scroll down we need to make sure that the image is in place as well so we need to click on the button here and then drag the featured image into the field here and because we've added the featured images to a different website if you remember we've added them to this site here called example.dev we need to select download images hosted elsewhere and then if you scroll down make sure that you uncheck search for the media library for existing images before importing new ones because this is a brand new process we don't need that the other two can be left checked now at this point, the featured images are ready. We can click on this button here, and then we need to click on custom fields. And this is for the SEO information. So we want to add the WP SEO info to these fields as shown here. Now we need to add another couple more fields. And then in these left-hand fields underneath name, we need to add WordPress SEO field details. And then once we've done that, we'll add the specific nodes on the right-hand side into the value fields, as you'll see on the right here. So I'm going to just quickly pause the video and add the WP SEO fields underneath name here. Okay, now I've added the specific WordPress SEO fields in the left-hand side fields underneath name, as you can see here. So we've got focus keyword. Then we've got the title and we've got the meta description as well. So now we need to drag the nodes into the appropriate value fields next to them. So we've got focus keyword needs to go in that field there. We've got meta title and then we need to drag the meta description into the appropriate field. OK, so everything in terms of the fields should be sorted. Now you will notice in this CSV upload file, I have got a field for excerpt. However, unfortunately, as part of the WP all import process, you're not able to add an excerpt to the pages or I haven't actually found a solution for that. So we're going to ignore excerpt at this point and then we're going to click on this button here and then we'll scroll down to other page options, click on that and you can decide whether you want to make these pages published or set them as draft. You may also wish to specify the date. However, in this example, we're going to leave it as published. We're going to have the date as now. We're going to have the comments as closed because typically in most instances you don't want comments on pages. And in the post slug field, we want to drag the service into that field because the post slug should be pretty much identical to the post title in this example. Or it is a page, so it's the page title. In the post author, we're simply just going to add John in this example. Scroll down. And everything should be in place at this point and you can click on continue to step four. In the next screen you'll notice that it'll give you a warning that your content is blank. Now the reason for this is because obviously we didn't add anything in the WYSIWYG area. You can utilize WP All Import to add that data in there, but typically these days you want to add some more specific content to that that is not necessarily built around an Excel sheet. The reason I've done it in this particular process is because I like to have most of the data for the page set up and then go through the pages and develop them as required during the website project. The next thing you need to do is in the unique identifier field is to add this service node into place. Now this enables WP All Import to understand how each of the pages are going to differ. So it knows how to structure all the data essentially. That's the best way I can probably describe it. They need to scroll down and then deselect update existing posts with changed data in your file because you're creating brand new pages with specific data. So that's all ready to go and then you can click on continue. 
You'll notice then that your file is all set up. You can scroll down and check out the import summary below, but everything should be in place and you can click on confirm and run import. You'll then notice that the import is in progress and WP all import will probably take approximately about a minute to do these 15 pages. Of course, if you're doing more pages in bulk, which you typically will be, it might take a couple of minutes before all of the information is added to the site. You'll then be informed that the import is complete. And the next thing you need to do is to make sure that the pages are actually in place and all that data has been imported. So obviously we need to click on pages on the left hand side of WordPress. And then you can click on edit for a particular page. And you'll see that the data for the title is in place as you can see here. And then if you scroll down on the right hand side, you'll notice that the featured image is in place on the right and a scroll up and you'll see that the SEO information is also in place, including the meta title, meta description, and also the focus keyword. Now the next thing to do is to make sure that the images have actually been uploaded to this particular development site and they're not still on the other websites so you can click on media and then library and there you'll notice the 15 images are in place that we've just uploaded so that's the process for utilizing the wp all import plugin you can add various different data to not only pages and posts but also custom post types it's a really really useful plugin and i highly recommend it to anyone i personally don't like adding pages manually so it really is a good solution